Good afternoon everybody. I hope you're having a great day. Today we are going to do a bagging, a boxing up, ready for doing my kit. I'm just going to tilt the camera a bit. There you can see I've got my um, little pots and over to this way you can see I've got the lids all lined up. And you may be thinking, well, what's that for? Well, that tray is because uh, they're going to go everywhere. They normally do. So I, I do, I put them on a tray. I've got a pair of scissors ready for doing the kit. Right. So I do believe this is a kit that I unbagged on air. Um, I'd like to welcome you all here. Uh, welcome to all my subscribers and my regulars. I appreciate each and every single one of you. You know who you guys are. And to any new subscribers, thank you for selecting to watch my video. I hope you stick around and you enjoy my videos. If you've got anything you'd like me to do or change any content, give me an heads up and if I can do it, I might I will give it a try. Um that being said, I hope you're all having a wonderful Sunday. That's what day it is, why I'm filming this. And this, <laughs> for anybody who likes the show, this is a Vampire Diaries picture. It's a 30 by 40 and there are 20 symbols. Um, I, yeah, like I said, I vaguely recall unbagging this on air. Looking forward to doing this, but this isn't about the so much about doing the picture right now this is more about doing the um box bagging up as you see standard toolkit wax boat pen baggies so what's been going off with me um not not a great deal has been going off with me really to be honest with you i am uh, i'll say that i went to whitby for the day um didn't interact with anybody i was very safe and very careful so you know nobody needs to worry about um the virus and things like that as you'll see it's got a legend and it's got dmc coach yes i like that so 310 is number two that's black, by the way. That's the first one I look for. That way, then, you know, it's the DMC codes. The last one that I did, which I'll insert a picture at the end, was a Winnie the Pooh one, and there were no codes on that. Wow. <laughs> Mind you, I'm going to say, there is a lot of black. Uh, 17 little bags of it. So what do I do when I'm bagging, uh, when I'm bagging up? Right, so we'll start with the first one. Mind you, no, we won't. We'll start with the second one, since there's most of it. I know where it is. 310. So what I do is I get my little box and I snip them off. Now I'll snip a few off because obviously I know I'm going to get a few in. Um, with the ones that don't fit in the jars, I'll either put the extras in another jar and turn it upside down with the 310 number inside it so I know which one it is. Or... I leave them bagged up and I, I put them in my case because I've got a little case that these all come out of. And, um, I'm not worried about the little stragglers right now because when this when, when it gets near the top, I will just pick it up and do it then rather than keep picking it up and putting it down. Um, yeah, so we went to Whitby. It was really nice, excessively cold. Oh boy, was it cold. Um, we saw a friend of ours there. Um, it was a lovely day. Uh, obviously, most things are uh, not quite open. I mean, some are, on the, some are open, some are on the verge of opening. So there weren't tons open, but it was, it was a lovely day and it was just nice to go for the drive and um get out the house really guys i mean you know we've all been inside for so long um what else have i been doing um so yeah well, that's I've, I've been to whitby um i had my fringe cut 
because I'm I know I know everybody on the planet are, are making for the hairdressers as soon as they open. Yeah, so it's when mine opened, I said, "Look, I know you guys are busy. I'm not worried about waiting, but could you please look, could you please cut my fringe?" Because it was literally driving me insane. I just couldn't. Um. So then I'm I'm going this week, and I'm going to have. A, a, my a colour put, put on I absolutely trust my hairdresser 1 million percent if I didn't, shouldn't be doing my hair obviously um, so uh, so I've done that, what else have I done uh, my wonderful Smurfy as you all know, my partner um, he's been really spoiling me and looking after me and He's bought me um, a dress this week and a couple of t-shirts. We did. We, we was very responsible um, when we went in. I do apologise about the cat. Um, she suddenly found a mouse that we've had here ages. And when I say mouse, I mean a, obviously a toy mouse. That was number two. Right. So. Uh, We've had it ear ages and she's just discovered it and she loves it to death, right? So what what one shall we do next? Um seem to have a lot of oh. right, so I'm just gonna put this colour to the side. There the rest of the free tens. So we've got a lot of nine thirty nine. So what level, what number is nine thirty nine? Let's say have a look. 939, number 14. Yeah, so I've had this weird little cloth mouse for ages. And our cat, Purdy, today has suddenly decided it's her favourite thing in the whole world. But not only is she playing with it, she's kind of talking to it as she's playing with it. So that's what you can hear in the background. And probably my washer. My washer's on as well. Um, but yeah, so um, hopefully you, I'll not put my hands all over stuff you guys from seeing what I'm doing. But um, so yeah, I was telling you about my Smurfy. He's um, been spoiling me this week and oh my good grief you know it, it's brought, it got me a lovely dress and it got me a couple of lovely tops to go with it and um some um some shoes so when i wear it i can put those on because i i tend to wear trainers a lot guys and um i'm afraid i'm one of these people where i'd rather be comfortable than fashionable I always have been. I'll take comfort over fashion any day of the week. It's just not worth it. I mean, it, it was, as you know, it's still pretty cold out there. We was driving home yesterday or the day before, whatever day it was. And there was this young lady, and I'd say early 20s. And you could tell that what she dressed in, she'd obviously thought about it. It was so she would look good, yeah. Like a boot tube chop, a uh, top, and like um, hooky bum shorts. I know there's a proper name for them, guys, but right now I don't can't think. And she was freezing. I mean, you could see this poor girl was shivering. I'm sorry, but if that's me, I'd rather be comfortable any day of the week. Don't worry about all the uh, packets. I will be dumping them. Uh, all the empty packets, I mean. Because I've got the piece of paper with a code on. Oh, see, now you know why I do it on on, on this tray. Um, yeah, I will be, because I've got the paper with the codes on, I will be dumping all the packets. And then when I unbag at the end, uh, when, yeah, when I, not unbag, when I unbox, no, not unbox either, oh, kit it down, that's the one, 
ignore me I get there after a while uh, I uh, will be sure to bag them up in the correct little baggies at, at the end right 154 it's number one I do that because that way then I just know what lid it is. I know a lot of people write, write the DNC codes on the uh, containers or they put the um, symbols on the containers. I personally, because they always put the numbers on. So I, I just go with numbers. Just the way I work, I'm just, I find life easier that way. Um, who? Oh, it's alive, it's alive. Um, yeah, so that's how I do it personally. You know, um, I'm everybody's got their own method, I don't mind it. Um, being a bit of a mess, I'll pick some of these up in a minute actually because. So yes, the picture is Vampire Diaries, which um, is a picture that I recall my Smurfy buying for me. Um, I'm not sure where he bought it, but I can ask him and I would let you guys know. With it being dark, I can tell I'm probably going to be needing my light rather a lot. Uh, excuse the hand. Just pick these up out of the way. Um, yeah, so... I normally find with the dark, darker um, diamond art, I, I need to use my iPad. Not iPad. Gee, what is my brain like today? Uh, I need to use my light board, even. Uh, see, we've got it. Oh, there's a diamond left in that. Oh, no, that's crushed. Right, let's pick these ones. Let's have a look. Three, 3.37. Oh, no, it's not 337. It's 3371. 3371, number 15. Um, when they're really little like this, I don't bother with the cutting them apart. I just do that. Um, <laughs> I guess we didn't cut them in the Yeah, so uh, anyway, so what else have I been doing? I um, well, my brain is gone. Uh, I went to the hospital yesterday for an, uh, an appointment with a high doctor. That was yeah, very eye opening. <laughs> no, <laughs> I'm sorry about that terrible form. Uh, no, it was uh, it was okay. It was one of the ones type of appointments where you had to have eye well, eye drops put in your eyes and um three seven nine nine number eighteen um and I always hate that appointment so you know how's everybody around my life uh well. Those of you who know me, or those of you that have been following, well, no, I've got my son, Connor. He's 23. Today, he decided to fall over and hurt his thumb. And he's currently being taken to uh, casualty to get it checked out because it is really, really hurting him. I wouldn't have advised him to go up, but he's literally been in agony since he's done it. And we give it a bit of time to see if it would pass. It's definitely not passing. So we are, I've, I've advised him to go up. Normally I'd go with him, but as soon as his dad's picking him up, his dad can pick him. Three, seven, three, three, seven, two. Three, three, seven, seven, two. Number 17. 
it's all right guys you know eventually at some point in my life i will get my act together i hope it's like you know not when i reach like 60 and then finally get my act together because you know i'd like to have it together by then it's not happened up to now and i'm nearly 50 so i won't hold my breath <laughs> Yeah. but yeah so hopefully Connor Sand is okay if we find out during the course of me filming I will let you know otherwise I will have to tell you on another uh, time four three six four three six is number 13 number three I mean yeah as you see when I got them and I went did the inventory I crossed them off they did it one way and I did it the other way just to clarify because you you always need to check what you've got now uh, between the last um kit that you seen me do which was my wonderful lady with her stags which was a uh, diamond painting uk um diamond painting factory not diamond painting uk i swear i have lost it today i really have guys um Anyway, um, I've done a Winnie the Pooh one. I will insert the picture at the end. Um, it's just a little one. Oh, yeah, number three. Just a little one at the end uh, that I wanted to do. Just a little little snack size one. Um, I mean, this is only a 30 by 40. But I just wanted to do a little one after doing that big one that felt like it took me forever it took me less than a week to do this one so you know right eight three eight two three eight two three is number nine which is oh that one yeah so i've even got a little line so i know that one's for nine i'm a sad person i know um yeah i bought this winnie the pooh one that i just did it's a winnie the pooh christmas scene and there's Winnie and Eeyore, my favourite character. Uh, Tigger and that pig <laughs> in the picture. Yes, I don't like that pig. I just, it's the most irritating thing ever. But, you know, I'm sure there are people out there that do like him. Um, I bought it because... It was on a de-stashing site. It was a really nice deal. And it was just a little one. Like I say, I just wanted a, a little one to... Because when you're doing a big one, it's really good and it's nice and it's beautiful when it's finished. But the problem is, because um, you've worked so long on that one, you, after taking a, a slight break, which I would advise, um, you just want something little so you can feel like you're achieving something. I know some people do do like may start a big one and then go on to do a little one and while they're doing a the big one but I personally um I like to finish them I'm ever so funny in that way I like to finish them and then do and then do the next one All right, let's have a look number 841 it's number 11 um yeah so i don't have multiples um of them multiples on the go at the same time i just never have been a person that's like that i like to do one at a time and okay i know you fit <laughs> hey what number are you 816 but 816 is number eight um so i'm doing this vampire diaries one and then i think after this one i've got another big one now i know it's not like huge in the grand scheme of things but it's like big to me um which is the Run Far Fox um, 814 is number six. 
the rum flower fox that i seen and was inspired to get after watching miss coffee's doing it i think the picture is so beautiful so i've got it and then obviously at the same time as i bought that it was my birthday and that's when connor bought me the lady with the stags and obviously i wanted to do that one because i didn't want connor to think i didn't like it when i do three eight five six three eight five six that's number 19 um yes so i didn't want connor to think i didn't like it so that's why the, i did the lady with the stags and the run fast fox has waited until now i'm not going to lie i am slightly nervous because of how long the last one took me um you're right, I'm just sorting my case out. I just discovered that I put something in the wrong place, huh? Right, here we go. 3740, number 16. And just in case you're wondering, I do think I've told you, but there are 20 colours in this one. Um, we, are, we are getting through them. I don't. The reason I don't show you a, a D-stash is uh, like the Winnie the Pooh one. It wasn't didn't have any DNC codes with it, and I'm sorry, but life's too short to sit messing about trying to look them all individually. Four three seven, four three seven number four. So what I'm going, what I'm doing with those ones that don't have a code, I am um, putting them all into a bag, and I'll either sell them to somebody for a project, or I'll make a project out of them myself and like um, I don't like it that one. Um, and make something out of it, like put them around things or something. I'll find a use for them. <laughs> I, I I kind of not, I don't hoard. I, I used to collect things that were bad and I had things, not issues letting go of things, but I, I would save things because, you know, they would come in useful one day. <laughs> yeah. I thought you'd believe anything. Um, right. Eight, eight fifteen. Yes, and I was very good when I got rid of all my stuff. I, I noted that from my dad because my dad could never throw anything away. He wasn't a hoarder by any stretch of the imagination, but he'd always say, oh, you know, that might come in handy. We'll save that. Or anything electrical blow, broke in it. The first thing he'd say is take the plug off. Which is practical, I suppose, and it is good because it does save you money. And I've got to give him this too. I have used fuses out of these things. So it, it does work, you know. Um, oh, seven, seven, nine. That would be number five. Yeah, so they... I do apologise, the cat is just so talking to this toy mouse. You've got the toy mouse. What are you mewing for? Yes, you have. You've got it. It's yours. It's yours, yes. Now she's come over to talk to me. She said this is a lovely cat. Oh, baby. Yeah, you're all right. You go play with the mouse. She's a very vocal pussy cat. Out of the three, she's the most vocal. I've got Storm. Um, he was a rescue and he um, is absolutely obsessed with me. I swear if you look up, here, up, up in the dictionary, of the word obsessed there's a picture of storm looking at me don't get me wrong i love it but it is it can be three eight three which is number nine can't be number nine number ten um yeah i love it i love him it's just a bit you know if you put your arm down he automatically assumes it's for a hug if you uh lay down it's so he can snuggle into you do you know what i mean it's he's just got to be with me like permanently which is sweet and i love him but it can be a bit irksome then my other cat obi-wan kenobi yes this star wars theme i i did have a yoda and an anakin but they both unfortunately are no longer with us um he's lovely but he are yeah he, he, he only mouths when he wants food nine three four number thirteen so, um, you know, 
it's it's just her and she'll whine if you if she's in the room and you're not in the room with her she'll whine for you to tell her where you are she's quite sweet and i say kitten she's about eight months old nearly a, nearly a year all right so we're down to the last two guys three eight six two that's number 20 which i kind of thought it might be And that, guys, would be the reason why I always do it on my tray. Oh, I think that's an escapee. I'll shove it in there. If it's not there, we will find it eventually. Uh, number 20. Right. So the last one has got to be number 12. Which is 918. Yeah, so we can put that down there. So I'm going to start this kit. I don't think I'm going to start it on camera today because right, I've literally just finished winning the boo, literally. But I wanted to do a uh, filming for you guys so I could give you a film. I, I, I am trying to work on the frequency and I'm trying to commit to it. Sorry, rubbish. Just put one in there. So I am trying to co commit to trying to do you guys um, two videos a week. Um, I've got one. Like I say, I'm, work I'm getting another one so far. So as you see, this is my little case um, from Amazon. This one holds 42. Um, I'm not going to put these two packets of spare uh, in the little tube because it's rather a lot so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put them in the mesh part so they're there and I'll keep my little paper because I'll be sticking that in my book with you know the up oh, I can't put the order but we're sticking that in my little book so I know it come with this and these were the codes for it um but I'd like to say thank you for joining me and watching me. Oh, now I'm trying to wrap the place. For, thank you for joining me and for watching me um, put me and ready to go. I know there's a proper word, but guess what, guys? My brain's just turned it off. Um, and I will be back with you and we will do some work on pro in progress. So that's my case all ready to go and this will be our picture we'll make it flatter now just hang you up just a touch i don't know if you can see it at all because move my light out and so i do doing something different with my light as you can see we've got damon stefan and elena from vampire diaries yes i do like vampire diaries it's uh um, one that I got into. No, I don't think there's an age limit on what teen bop thing you can like. So, um, yeah, I hope it turns out well. I will let you all know and I will see you when we're next to our, um, our next whip, our work in progress. Take care. Stay safe. Bye.